All right, everybody, we got a good one for you today. I'm going to be playing Smash TV, the arcade version. How am I playing this? On the Midway Arcade Origins, which is a PS3 release. I'm playing it on a real PS3 system. I'm actually using a PS5 controller to play it, which is something you can do. Uh, I like these controllers. This is an excellent compilation CD. I think I bought this for like 15 bucks, so it still goes for a little bit, but that's not too bad. You get 30 plus games. There's a lot of classics on here, but the one I want to play the most is Smash TV. I am a big fan of Super Smash TV. In fact, I think it probably plays better than this version. This one we can expect to be more violent than that version, but there's going to be some things that are not as good. I've only played a little bit of this. I've never beat it or anything. Today, I plan on playing straight through it. I was going to point out one of the things that isn't as good is the music in this game is not as good as the Super Nintendo music, at least in my opinion. Maybe it's because I'm just not used to it or something. But let's get started here. This is also a two-player game. I may do separate playthroughs with my wife, but I was really anxious to, to play this, so. Alrighty, had some difficulty there. Started, I forgot what gun shoots, or what button shoots. It's the analog stick. So this is a dual analog stick game. At least it is at home using this controller. But it's commonly referred to as a twin stick shooter. It's one of the best genres, best control schemes or whatever for playing games and I would really like to see more of them. This is kind of like an homage to Robotron and I believe it's by the same person, Eugene Jarvis. Check me on that. I think he was behind both the games. Of course this setting is a game show. There's an extra guy. That icon looks like Marge Simpson in the Super Nintendo version. <laughs> this one it doesn't. And it doesn't say dude in this version when you get it. So just little things like that I like better on the on the Super Nintendo. Ah. The good thing about these compilations is that you can keep continuing. So far, I haven't, they haven't been giving me any good weapons. Here we go. These have limited supplies of bullets, so that's why I'm not firing at full strength here. Now this weapon is a lot better in this version. You can see the bodies flying there. So should we go up or down? Let's go down. Eat my shrapnel. I hope that I don't. Ah! This, those little particles are a little bit harder to dodge in this version. Not to keep comparing it to that version. can't see the landmines there. These rounds feel a little bit shorter than the Super Nintendo version. Those rooms kind of go on forever in the Super Nintendo version, which is a good, good thing. I love the gameplay. I want that. Darn it. I want that too. Now, some of these guys that are walking along the wall are purple. I think that just means they're more powerful. 
There were no purple ones in the Super Nintendo version. Oh. I'm getting killed a lot here. Close to the boss. Let's see, is there a secret room on this one or something? Yep. If you wait along too too long, if something comes and kills you, so I don't wanna press my luck there. This is a speed boost. Whoa! These enemies are getting aggressive. They're walking faster, aren't they? Maybe it's just my imagination. Whoa! Man, it's a pretty tough game. I guess they want me to keep putting quarters into it. It's kind of senseless to get the extra guys if uh, you have unlimited continues, but... It's my instinct. Tank trouble! Yeah, the music is definitely not the high point here. But I do enjoy the game show aspect of it. The theme of being on a game show that's this violent. And look how many creatures are on the screen at the same time. It's just amazing. It's a lot to dodge. I knew that was going to get me killed. Yeah. Oh man. Bingo. Good luck. That was great. Yeah. What did I win? All right, prepare for a long ba boss battle. Die, die, die. Oh. Man, he backs up really fast. going here. This thing is very damaging. Whatever this thing is. Grenades. Ah oh, man. He murdered my ass. What a crazy game. I'm not gonna risk my life to get that. He lost his arms, but not his spirit. Now, I could be wrong, but I think his head is a giant version of the, the host of the show. That'll help. Get oh, didn't help there. Bingo. Good luck. Get out of my way. 
Ah, oh, he's shooting out that crap. I'm not used to that. It's like blueberries. I guess they gotta give him something to kill you with when he doesn't have any arms and whatever. Alrighty, we'll just keep going here. Man! Give me that. No way. He's alive once more in his final form. Oh. Ah, darn it. Eat it. Eat it. We did it! Look at that. We didn't have, have that blood in the Super Nintendo version. Alright, let's total up my winnings. Lots of toasters. So, have you guys played Smash TV? And if so, have you played this version of it? Do you Are you old enough to remember seeing it in the arcades? I never saw this one in arcades, but I heard it talked about. Um, have you played the Super Nintendo version? And if so, do you like that one as much as I, as I do? This is pretty fun though. I enjoy a different take on the, the version that I'm used to. Finally, the music I'm familiar with. And I'll just stress that I'm not... This, unlike most of the playthroughs I do on this channel, this isn't one that I've played a lot of. I didn't feel like I needed to do too much prep for this one because you're basically just shooting stuff. All right. It's like the Hunger Games before those books and movies came out. They should make a Smash TV movie. Let's see, who would make a good host for a Smash TV movie? I don't know. Uh, John Stewart or something? I don't know. It's somebody that, that's a host of something else. Yeah. Steve Harvey? <laughs> I like... That says uh, collect uh, 10 coins. That's to get into the Pleasure Dome, which is a bonus level or something. These are the guys that... Uh, not so much in this version, but... In the Super Nintendo version, these guys sound like Legos when you're killing them. And I love that sound for some reason. I got a vacation from that present. Maybe they can CGI Bob Barker and make him the host of, in the movie. I'll be contacting Netflix after this video is over to run my idea by them. <laughs> They'll be like, what the heck is Smash TV? Does it have a multiverse? 
actually it kind of does if the sequel is called Total Carnage, which is also in this collection. It's, I guess you would call it a spiritual sequel. It's not a game show. It's like an actual war. And overall, at least on the Super Nintendo version, it's not a, it's not um, as good a game in my opinion. Ah, these things. Yeah, I was about to say they're taking too many bullets to, to kill. <laughs> Man, they're taking a lot of bullets to kill. That's why I need this gun. And that'll make short work of them. This. this weapon is so cool. It runs out way too quickly though. <laughs> They're being generous with the power-ups on this one. Um, I will say there's a little bit more precision with playing on the Super Nintendo controller where you have the four buttons for the four different directions or eight different directions if you hit two at once um, than there is on the analog, analog stick on this DualSense and I notice I'm missing a lot of shots and I think that has a lot to do with it. I wonder if there's a way to adjust the controls. I'm not going to interrupt the game but I wish there was a way to adjust the controls that I can use these four buttons four face buttons. Let me just check real quick. I don't know what... It's like... Uh, it's pretending like it's giving me the option of configuring the controls, but it doesn't look like there's anything I can do there. Maybe there is on some of the other arcade games in this collection. Oops. That electrocution reminds me of Berserk, if you guys have ever played that game. Much older. But uh, whenever you touch a wall in that game, you get electrocuted. Yeah. All right, these are fast. Okay, that's never good. Whoa! Bingo! I need that. Bingo. This game is a lot of busy work, but it's a fun busy work. Serve my weapon a little bit here. Man, they just keep coming. See, this is more what I'm used to. Like, all the rooms in the Super Nintendo version seem like they were that long. Oh, man. 
Whoa. Magnificent TV, it said. Buffalo herd nearby. I think that means there's a secret room near, nearby or something. Oh man, that thing is hard to hit. You gotta hit the red parts, but it's barely a different color. God, what are these things? I don't think I've seen that enemy before. Oh, buffalo. Here we go. These things are crazy. But you can fake them out by doing a circle around them, but they get they get so they fill up the whole screen. And faking doesn't work at that point. Bingo. I think maybe with two players, um, if the enemies remain the same number, so having two players would mean uh, better success in my opinion. It adds an element of chaos though. Man. I probably say that a lot. Man. So let me just see if I can walk into a secret room or something here. Maybe not. Ah, uh, I don't think this is good. Oh man. I said it again, oh man. That should be one of the voice clips in this game. I love this weapon, if only I could use it for a longer while. So we st we are still we still got a way to go here. We're not even through the second stage. There's four stages unless this version's different or something. There's at least four stages. But I'm just gonna keep going. I got nothing better to do, and this is pretty fun. My eyes are getting a little bit uh, tired, but. <laughs> That's what happens when you reach my age. I'm getting close to 50 years old. This power-up isn't very useful in this version of the game. Just too easy to lose it. All right, let's see if uh, I can go any we're special here. Ooh. 
Laser death zone. I thought I got that power up. What happened? Ah, see, I lost that thing immediately. I feel like I'm getting better as I go along, but I'm still dying like, what, four or five times a room or something. I think. Let's get that. Oops. Didn't want to waste it. Alright, Mr. Star Scarface. Wow, he looks exactly like the Super Nintendo version. Well, I bet he's gonna clean my clock. So they say. Wow. I'm keeping him in the corner there. This one came with a shield, so that helps. Uh, last for a second. I'm not doing too bad. Maybe I don't have a skill issue. Where am I? Ready? Get in the corner. I'm not going to be able to get that power up. Get away from me. giving me those things. Quit sitting on the power-ups too. <laughs> He's lost his eyeballs, but he still wants to fight. Why won't you die? Now, my thinking is that these bosses uh, were long in order to get some quarters out of people because nobody wants to walk away from a from a big fight like this when everyone's watching, your family's watching, or whatever, whoever you came to the arcade that day. Um, they're watching somebody. Ah, man, look at that. The shield's like in place. So, you know, you're at this boss battle. It lasts forever and you just keep pumping in the quarters because you want to beat it in front of everybody. You're like, mom, can I have another quarter? Or like five of them. This might have been one of those games that was 50 cents to play actually. Nowadays, arcade games, some of them at least have like credit card machines built into them. <laughs> Even the pinballs. Man, look how fast these things are. 
my character is not fast enough to dodge those. <laughs> Alright, his skull is receiving some damage. And this should help if I can hit him. Nope! Ah! I wanted that. Ah, why did I do that for? On the Super Nintendo version, your invincibility lasts a lot longer, so that's what I'm used to. Ooh. Taking it to the chin. I want that power up. Get out of my way. Oh! He's dead. <laughs> Alright. Uh, which way am I going here? Alright. We're halfway through the game, pretty much. I love the little purple things on his wrists. I don't know what they do, but he looks cool. He kind of looks like a guy from American Gladiators, if you ever saw that show. With the helmet and not wearing a shirt and all that. Wait, what just happened? Warp 3 activated secret key. Okay. Did I just skip all the way over level 3? I really don't want to. So we'll see. Level 3 has a bunch of snakes in it. So if we see snakes in this room, we're still on level 3. Here we go. Okay. I have no idea what that was about. I'll have to look that one up. Man! <laughs> These bullets are too fast! What were they thinking? Those aren't even the snakes I was thinking of. There's these walking cobras that we're going to see in a little bit here. Woo. All right, this thing ought to help. Alright, I did not enjoy that level. Or that room. Okay, it says Die Cobros. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna try to take the shortest route. Yeah, these are the Cobras I was thinking of. That was close. Ah, I did not see the landmine behind the tree. 
famous last words to a lot of people, no doubt. Is that it? Ah, thought that was it. It's getting easy for a second. Whoa. Man, he butchered me. This will help. I thought that was the end. <laughs> They're probably penalizing me for taking the middle route. But let's keep taking it. Scorpion fever. Okay. Some of them are slow and some are fast. Maybe the purple ones are faster? Yeah, yeah that's what it is. Woo! They got promotions, so they're faster. Oh, come on. I got that. I was robbed. Whoa. I love how my eyeball blows up to the ceiling. They do it for the ratings. That should be it. Oh man, I can't go right to the side. I'll just go down. That's a lot of snakes. Next time I'm bringing my wife along, she can help me shoot some of this crap. Although you end up fighting over power-ups. But that's a fair trade-off. Man, this is quite a hard room. Oh, I don't know how I made it through that. The hit detection on these snakes is not very large. Oh man, I thought that was it. I thought I was done. I 
Yeah, I definitely have trouble shooting diagonally with the analog sticks. They're just not detecting diagonal movement as good as a push button control scheme. I wonder how many enemies I've killed so far. It's gotta be like more than 10,000. scraping by here. This room's got to end at some point, right? There is an end. Mommy, can I have another quarter? <laughs> I'm almost to the, the snake boss. Bingo. So let me just take a short break here. Allow my mind to recover a little bit. And I'll tell you the other games that are on this release because this is one I recommend even though there's 10 million ways to play these games today. But it has Joust, Defender, Rampage, Total Carnage, Gauntlet, 720 Degrees, APB, Arch Rivals, Bubbles, Championship Sprint, Tournament Cyberball 2072, Defender 2, Gauntlet 2, Joust 2, a lot of sequels. Marble Madness, Pit Fighter, Rampart, Robotr Robotron 2084, Root Bear Tapper, Satan's Hollow, Sinistar, Smash TV, Spy Hunter, Spy Hunter 2, Super Off-Road, Super Sprint, Tubin, Vindicators Part 2, Wizard of War, Xenophobe, and Zybots. And it does have leaderboards and trophies. I'm not sure if the leaderboards would still... Um, uh, we'll see maybe at the end of this video there'll be i'll try to get to the leaderboards but um, i don't know if those things are still functioning or not they probably took down the servers in here is what looks like an instruction manual but all it is is like safety fine print and stuff like that i guess they didn't want to this was this is during the time where they were starting to get rid of instruction manuals but also they probably don't want to state instructions for 30 plus games here so yeah i like um i think the picture quality looks pretty good i've played some of these compilations on ps1 and ps2 and it doesn't look very good um, by the way my recording setup is i have a splitter coming that's connected to the ps3 so the ps3 goes to the splitter and then one one stream of that split goes into the Elgato 60 and that goes to the PC back there. So you got a complicated web of, you know, devices here. And that might add a little bit of delay, but I, I can never tell for sure. There's games that I play on the CRT back there that I come over here and play on this thing. And I do about equally on both. So anyway, let's return to the game. And, oh wait, there's some st stuff at the bottom. Okay, just some random facts. But let's see, let's see if I can improve my game here. 
when I'm dying a lot, it slows down my ability to go through the game. Those things look like giant ticks. The blood-filled ones. I'm not sure if you ever could play online. That, that would have been a cool feature. To play this game online with a friend or with a stranger even. Bingo. I think one of the things that helps is to not pay attention to the entire screen, but pay attention to the a few f feet all around your character and just try to dodge the enemies there, but Sometimes they're just too fast. I want that. Bingo. You can actually get close to these guys and they start swinging and they stop moving towards you, like that. And if you play it just right, you can, you know, get by them while they're swinging at you. Kill the purple ones first if you can. <laughs> Dope. There we go, this might be the Cobra boss. Not sure. Ooh, that's pretty straightforward. The character speed is very fast too. Well, maybe that's just because I had a power up. But I just tend to run into guys. I speed into them and meet my demise. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Survive. Survive. Ooh, survive. right through them.
Is that it? Finally. All right. Whoa, they really don't want me taking up the arcade game. These explosions, I recognize them in the uh, Total Carnage game. That blue whatever. They use that for one of the weapons in the Total Carnage game. We're limping our way through this game. But I'm going to keep my goal. I'm going to play through it. Get away from me. Oh, I should have checked for a secret room. A lot of landmines in here. I wasn't going to get that. Whoop. for that one anymore. <laughs> so worthless. I'll get this present. Ah, too much, too much, too much. I'm surprised they haven't done a Smash TV, like, a additional sequels, and even as, like, an indie game, I'm pretty sure just the sound of that, it just, I would, I would buy it, like, instantly. <laughs> Super Smash TV 2, or Smash TV 2. And it doesn't seem like it'd be that hard of a game to program either, so, you know, a small team could do that. A team of uh, people who are fans of the game, you know. 
All right, here we go. These guys used to shred me in the Super Nintendo version. Sorry, I'm talking through the host. So, I expect to get killed a lot. But we'll see. They kind of um, move randomly, it feels like, all over the place. I'll just concentrate on this guy. On the left. Because you can kill one and then kill the other. Oh. I thought I had some invincibility left there. I love how the uh, the flashing ripples through the segments. but there's just too much crap going on. I, I don't have much of a strategy other than just aiming right at them. Power-ups. I don't know why they're putting that power-up like right inside it. I guess it's just a randomizer they have set for the whole game. Let's see, should I be aiming for the heads instead? Can I even shoot the heads? It looks like it. But they wiggle around so much. Why won't you die? Bingo. What was that? Ooh. Oh, I thought you could kill him one at a time. I guess that's not true. All right, well, that didn't go on as long as I thought it would. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Whoo! Am I ready? We almost have enough keys. So is it gonna... Maybe I need keys to proceed to the next level. And so maybe it's gonna send me through some bonus rooms until I accumulate enough keys. We'll see. I'm just gonna keep playing. Man. These are coming fast. cat once in the room, so if you hear him, just, <laughs> that's what it is. All right. I haven't seen any keys yet. Stuck in a corner. Bingo. Bingo. Good luck. Whoa. I don't know how I'm still alive.
You have enough keys, okay. Well, I didn't... I don't remember picking any up, but... It was all a blur. So maybe this is the final level? I remember um, there's a boss that's very similar to the first boss, except it has the, uh, the head of the host on it. So when I was uh, postulating earlier, I thought the, the first boss has the head of the host, but I think it's actually the last boss. But I could be totally wrong. I know how annoying it is when there's someone playing a game and they don't know a lot about it or whatever. So I try to prepare for these playthroughs just so I have something to say and just so I'm not constantly dying. Although that is uh, happening in this one. I try to make sure I know uh, how to play the game and a little bit about the history before I hit record, you know. I make some practice runs. A lot of times it's a game I've played a million times before though. I should just hit start on the other controller and play that one with my feet. <laughs> At least I'll get some extra firepower out of it. Out of it. It's really about all. It's about getting the power ups. But you know, half the time you end up dying just trying to get to the power up. If you can hold on to them and start a pattern where you. Your, your power-up lasts until the next power-up. If you can get into a pattern of uh, getting them back to back to back, you can do a lot better. This standard shot just doesn't do it in this version of the game. Just gonna keep going. They may kill me, but I'll get right back up. Of course, that was kind of a stupid idea earlier when I said they should make a movie based on this game or a TV series or something. Because that. <sighs> I don't think you're going to be able to put that many actors on the screen. Maybe if you use CGI, but it'll just be a mess if you want to capture the core of the game, which is a lot of enemies. But I guess you could do something like not as many enemies. <laughs> oh, come on. I got that. Get 
getting all kinds of keys now. I don't see a counter telling me how many keys I have. This music is not doing it for me. I I play these videos with the sound turned way down, but I can hear that loud and clear, and it is not pretty. <laughs> now I could wear an ear earpiece. I just haven't set something like that up. Uh, for these videos, maybe in the future I'll do something like that. But obviously I have it turned down so you don't get an echo in. Hopefully you're not hearing an echo in the sound effects. I do a, a separate voice stream. I keep it as, as a separate channel so that when I'm editing, I, I don't edit these videos that much. But if, it, but if there's a large segment where I'm not talking, I'll increase the volume of the game to help fill that gap. So if you're hearing, you know, the volume shift up a little bit throughout this video, that's why that happens. I, I don't get too carried away, just long segments where I don't talk. I'll just go and raise the volume for that segment. It's real easy for me to do. I, did, I edit all my videos in movie studio and always have. I'm like a pro at editing videos when it for that program at least. But the uh, every edition I have it uh, crashes a lot. Especially when I'm editing some like Oh this is this a boss? If I'm editing a large video 4k or whatever Ooh, I guess it is a boss is it the final boss oh well, I think it is oh come on I got that power up oh, he's gonna run me over shooting his eyeballs. That's pretty cool. Ah. I think I'm doing pretty good. He might turn it up a notch. I have a feeling he's going to. His eyeballs look pretty fast. He enjoyed it that. Oh, I want that, I want that. Come on, give me a good weapon. Oh. <laughs> Check out his undie shirt. Maybe this is his final form. Oh, 
Overall, he seems easier than the first boss, but I could be wrong. We're not done yet. Mutoid man. There we go. Am I gonna have to fight his head now? Nah, I think it's just gonna float away. We'll get this just in case there's more to play. Ooh, look at all these. Watch that landmine. Look at my score. Yeah, if I would have played through at the arcade back in the days, I would have had to go to the bank first because I would have had to have stacks of quarters. And spent a whole afternoon Continuing, continuing, continuing. Alright, uh, this is starting to get tedious. Let's end this part. Let's see what's beyond this exit. Oh, there we go. Ooh! The home version of the game, Smash TV. Lawnmowers? Riding lawnmowers, it looks like. Meat bonus. It's a bunch of heads. Whew. My eyes are dry. Alrighty. Well, let's see what happens now. Ooh. It says I'm a great Smash TV player. Maybe the best of all time. <laughs> That's up for some debate, right? John Tobias. Eugene Jarvis. I, I recognize a lot of these programmers. Uh, this looks good on your resume if you worked on this game. Uh, the music, once again, is not very good. I would say it doesn't matter as much in an arcade game. What matters in an arcade game is the gameplay. That's what gets it, gets the quarters, not really the music. But I can understand when they port it to the home versions, if you have something like the Super Nintendo, which makes excellent music. I could see why they made that a good version with better music. Alrighty. Reigning champs. I wonder if some of these names are names of the people we just saw. Alright people, let me see if... Ah, I think I accidentally hit start again or whatever, so I'm not going to continue to play. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough. Uh, that wasn't too long. There's been longer games and there's bound to be longer games on this channel. But uh, let me know what you think of the game. And there's some other videos on the screen in front of you if you want to watch some of those. May your games make you happy and smart, and may people respect you for playing them. So long, everybody.